morning guys, what's up? Jasper's here and welcome back to the vlog! I'm actually feeling a little bit awkward because it's been a long time since I last vlog and it really took a lot of effort to get out of that awkwardness of talking in public on against the camera. But hopefully I slowly, slowly get back into the swing of it. Because of the rain earlier today, uh, the humidity levels are really, really high today. So for that reason, my cars are clumping way faster than usual. Hate Singapore's humidity. If you know any cardies from Singapore, ask them about humidity. The humidity really, really plagues the cardistry community. I guess that's why most of our country meetups are usually held indoors where there's air conditioned. For those of you who are not initiated with Singapore, uh, Marina Bay Sands is basically where the most expensive stuff are. It's, it's a fancy, it's a pretty fancy place and that's where we're headed right now. Oh wow, look at that! I have of course been here before so the direction doesn't really make sense at all. Hello, yes, it is me, it is Jasper's. Mm, no, yes, you're right, I, I didn't buy anything. The original plan of the video was actually to sort of bring you guys on a shopping trip. I have my first expensive bag, and then you know, and because and because it's my first expensive bag, I kind of wanted to share the experience with you guys, show you what uh, shopping at these kind of places is like, but I couldn't find a bag. At first, I was into this Louis Vuitton bag. It looks something like this. Very cool. Very sharp looking. Amazing. Super, super sweet. I saw it in the shop. And I was like, oh shit, it looks kind of... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I looked closely at the orange part of the printing on the, on the bag. And it was so ugly. It was so not sharp. <clears throat> give, give me a moment. Give me a moment, guys. <laughs> but I thought to myself, like, hey, I might as well check the price. So I asked the person working there, and then they said it was $4,700, I think. <laughs> and then I tried to fit my laptop into that bag, and it could barely fit. You know the metal part of a zip where you put your laptop in, and then it sort of like scratches against the laptop? I was like, yeah, no. So after that, I went to Gucci. At Gucci, I saw this beautiful black leather bag with like imprinted like Gucci monogram logo. Ooh, looks so fancy. Looks so good. Cost $3,300. Can it fit a laptop? No. No, it cannot. Cry. Move along. As I was walking out of the shop, the person serving me was like, if you're interested, you could actually take a look at this design. This design is one of our classic ones. And I was like, mm, it doesn't look very good, uh, but it is the classic color, so maybe, you know, maybe it's kind of cool. Asked him how much it was. Uh, he told me it was 1700 I think. Really cheap compared to the black leather one. Can it fit a laptop? No. No, it cannot. 
and I was ready to give up. And I was walking back to the train station and walked past Burberry. And I was like, ooh, that bag. That bag with the classic Burberry like stripes and stuff. This actually looks not bad. And the material? Hmm, not bad. Can it fit a laptop? No, no. Apparently, apparently. So, long story short from my experience of shopping at these shops, apparently people who can afford expensive bags like these don't use laptops. Nobody uses laptops. At least not 15-inch laptops. They only use up to 13 inches. Anything beyond that? Mm, too big for me. I can't fit this. I can't fit this laptop into my... For now, I still have this bag. <laughs>